Welcome back to T-Facts, where we dive into everything you need to know about your favorite reality stars. Today, we're talking about the one and only Lari Salima, a name that has become synonymous with drama and excitement in the world of reality TV. As news breaks about her return to the screen with a new villainous role in House of Villains, I find myself longing for her iconic presence on 90 Day Fiank. Larissa's journey began in Seas on 6 of 90 Day Fiank, capturing hearts and raising eyebrows as she navigated love and conflict with Colt Johnson in Las Vegas. Their tumultuous relationship was marked not only by their marriage in June 2018 but also by the controversies surrounding Larissa's three arrests for domestic battery drama that overshadowed their love story. A Colt wished for Larissa to be deported and 24 she continues to thrive in the U. As well Colt's current marriage has seen its own fair share of trouble. Now living in Sin City, Larissa is part of the intriguing cast of House of Villains, where her reputation as a villain has only grown, even as she has transformed herself into a fierce and independent woman. Following her stint on 90 Day Fiank, Larissa reinvented herself as an adult content creator, earning a lavish lifestyle through her hard work. Yet, I can't help but wonder how thrilling it would be to have her back in the 90 Day Fiank franchise. Larissa was a key player that hooked me into the show in the first place. Her outrageous antics during Happily Ever After. Season 5 offered pure entertainment during the pandemic. Her stunning Mac over journey was a spectacle as she invested over $72,000 into her transformation, revealing a striking new look inspired by Kylie Jenner. Beyond Beauty, her debut on Cam Soda was a shocking yet successful venture, raking in over $100,000. Despite reality Evie's golden age and countless shows vying for attention, I can't shake the feeling that Larissa's exit left a significant void in 90 Day Fiank. After claiming she was released from her contract due to her new career path with an adult webcam site and hitting a rough patch with IC, her absence was felt. A series of unfortunate events surfaced around the time, including rumors of deportation, but Larissa held strong, leaving fans to wonder if she would return. Some might argue the opposite. But I believe Larissa was a saint for tolerating cult Santics. She captivated audiences with her larger-than-life persona, sprinkling her dialogue with delightful quirks remember the extra, ease, she added to everything. Her iconic line, who is against the queen will die, is a classic that still makes us smile. Although Larissa famously battled cult's mom, Debbie, their story took an unexpected turn post-how. Their contentious relationship blossomed into an unexpected friendship, with Debbie even declaring Larissa as her favorite. This newfound bond could have brought a fresh dynamic to the 90 Day Fiank storyline had it been explored further. In her love life, Larissa is not one to sit still. Since her romance with Eric Nichols, she's captured hearts once again, revealing a new boyfriend in July 2024 and hinting at an exciting engagement. With matching tattoos and a quick Las Vegas wedding chapel rendezvous, Larissa's life could easily be a script out of a Hollywood blockbuster. While we might be able to catch Larissa in her new role, I can't help but miss her annex and charm on 90 Day Fiank. Her unpredictable storyline was a major draw, or fans like myself, making it clear that she truly is the queen we deserve on the show. Let's hope to see Larissa back soon. For more updates on all things reality TV, make sure to like and subscribe to T-Facts where we keep you informed and entertained. Until next time, keep tuning into 90 Day Fiang Caring Sundays at 8 p. Immediately on TLC.